what's up you guys uh, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're gonna be drawing four arms from Ben 10 which was uh, one of my favorite characters while growing up um, actually scratch that my favorite character was actually the heat blast while I was growing up watching the show I don't know I've always been fascinated with fairy characters and now let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite character from Ben 10 I mean if you ever watched Ben 10 while you grew up but yeah um i've always been fascinated by uh fiery characters like i don't know characters that hold the firepower like from pokemon charmander charmeleon charizard uh, litten and prince zuko etc etc of some sort but yeah and yeah um i use the mirror tool um, during the start of the video so that I could pro like get the symmetry right uh, in order to get the pose that I wanted and then I continued with my uh, conventional method in order to draw this forearms but yeah I got a story to tell you this guy this uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what I'm doing I got a story to tell you guys um, yeah it happened to me um, last weekend um and as you know like i collect up the pokemon trading cards um, and i went to the flea market which is a uh, big no-no you guys should not go into the flea market i mean i don't know about you guys but you know just saying like you know make sure the car like you whatever you're getting is from a trusted seller and he's a good person or whatever or you've known him you know but don't get it from someone you don't know but yeah, when I went to the flea market to look for the Pokemon cards that I wanted, I found some and I paid a good amount. Like, I paid um, like the actual amount that people are actually charging in eBay um, and other online uh, buying and selling places. And uh, I thought I scored some pretty good and decent cards. But um, when I came home, uh, and upon close inspection, I found that found out those cards were fake, and uh, this makes my blood boil. Yeah, I contacted the person because he's on Facebook. Um, I contacted the um, the shop on Facebook, and then you know I messaged them. Hey, uh, I bought some Pokemon cards. Just a heads up. I mean, at first I noticed there was only one fake card, so I mean, I was not too um, stressed out about it. And I was like, oh, maybe he didn't know too. You know, he must have bought in bulk from somebody and maybe he got duped too. You know, you never know. You know, like I was just thinking, yeah, um, it might be a nice guy or something. And I let him know on Facebook, like, hey, man, one of the cards he sold me um, turned out to be fake, man. Just watch out. OK, or something like that. And he, he was like, I thought, you know, I was expecting something like, oh, OK, I'm sorry, man, or whatever. You can return it or something. But, you know, he said, oh, OK, I'll look into it. And that's it. That's all he said that's all he said he said he's gonna look into it but still i mean that's fine you know i didn't make a big deal out of it or something i was like yeah okay whatever but yeah up um after a few days i decided to inspect the other cards that i bought from him again and guess what most of the cards that i bought from him are fake it's like i i'm so stupid i feel so stupid for buying that Ugh. I shouldn't have bought it in the first place but uh, like I feel really really stupid for falling for that but um, I mean I guess that's how you learn you know and then um, after that I messaged uh, I did not message actually I commented on his Facebook uh, business page saying like hey don't buy Pokemon cards from this guy because most of the I thought only one of the cards that I bought was fake but most of the cards he, so he sells uh, are fake and then this guy oh my god uh this guy had the audacity to like you know basically insult me or something you know on facebook um and uh, let me try to find the post if i can find i'll read it to you guys exactly what he said and uh, i was so mad it's like i don't even know like but yeah i'm not even going to that place anymore like just you know I learned it the hard way guys so just letting you know you know if you're collecting pokemon cards from like sellers like this you know just just be careful and also today i went to um the antique mall and 
after I watched a couple of videos on how to detect fake Pokemon cards and stuff like that, I think I, I, I think I'm pretty good at telling which ones are fake and which ones are real now because I went to Antique Mall and they had some Pokemon cards and as I was looking through them, I spotted like three right there, fake cards and I was like, oop, they are fake, man. And the seller was trying to argue with me saying, no, they're not. I bought it from a trusted seller. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Bye. <laughs> like, but it's, it's so like, you know, it's, I feel like it's, I mean, I understand if you got it from a seller and then uh, you're selling it because you didn't know or something. But once somebody points out they're fake, like, why, why would you try to argue with us about it? You know, like, why don't you just believe it and not sell the fake stuff anymore you know it's it's hard but yeah this guy um had the comment like this he said um quote in quote excuse me i don't sell fake cards i have collectors and real big pokemon buyer buy off of me all the time not one card come back fake and for you to write this is wrong w w wait what what did he say for you to write this is wrong i think he meant to oh he, i think he meant to write right w-r-i-t-e right not he spelled it as r-i-g-h-t -R yeah you could bring them back happily give you a refund don't talk bad about my business and first of all you're just cheap after you left the other person bought the cards you didn't but yeah this this guy was selling like um um like some vintage cards which were already damaged okay like they were like damaged they had like a lot of like you know white marks they were dirty and stuff and he was charging like e like actual price for what it what would a near mint condition card would be like and then this guy started and i told him like hey man i mean these are not good condition cards so why don't you give me a discount on it and he was like no there's not going to be any more discount because you know people like to collect them and i'm like oh okay then i'll just take the other cards i'm not going to get like the one that you're charging me the most most expensive for which i know i can pay the same amount and get it in a near mint condition so why would i buy it from him right damaged card simple as that and for that he says like I'm cheap or something but yeah like it was so freaking annoying you know and it's frustrating you know because you know once it's you're into the hobby but yeah you knew these things are like that are gonna happen but you know once you let them know like why would you try to argue with me and you know I even told him like before I even commented out I, I even told him like you know and he didn't even say anything he was like yeah he could have at that time, when I first texted him about it, he could have told me, yeah, you could have returned it. But he was like, no, okay, I'll look into it. Like, what do you mean you're going to look into it? Yeah. If you wanted, really wanted us to, wanted to give us a refund or something, you would have told me at that time, hey, man, just bring back the cards or something. But no, but no. But yeah, that was my rant for the day. I'm sorry, guys. If you didn't want to hear that <laughs> but yeah i'm just trying to find something to talk about you know while going through this process and yeah but yeah if you are into pokemon cards collecting and stuff like that you know just make sure you're getting it from a trusted seller trusted source and then make sure you don't get duped like me and yeah i think it is helpful to watch a bunch of research videos i mean not re what am i saying research on bunch of videos that explain it on youtube like how to detect a fake card and how to know because you know some of these fakes are getting really really good uh but yeah anyways yeah forearms you know i wanted to do this because you know it's like one of my favorite cartoons while i was growing up avatar the last airbender ben 10 i grew up on this you know so i'm maybe that's what i'll do next you know maybe i'll do a character from the avatar the last airbender and yeah, it's amazing. Like, did you guys hear about the news about the Avatar The Last Airbender? Like how they moved back into production, basically. And the guys who... Um, the original creators of the Avatar are back into the studio. Uh, Brian Kunitsiko and Michael Dante DiMartino. I think that's how you say his name. Oh, I hope I didn't butcher that. 
but um yeah they back into the studio and they're gonna basically um they're going to be expanding the overall avatar verse you know so there was first there was ang and then Korra, and now there's gonna be a earthbender avatar in this if you go according to the cycle yeah and then there was like you know even like a youtube video about this fan-made um avatar who comes after Korra because she dies young or something and uh yeah he's supposed to be an earthbender who specializes in sand bending mostly and then i think his name was genji i watched like a first video i think the trailer of it a fan-made channel and then yeah it, it was pretty good i mean i really liked it you know it was really good for for something that was made by the fans you know and um i really loved um the concept you know of how Korra dying young you know it, i guess you know because she's reckless and all that stuff but yeah um it was really a uh, um i don't know if they're gonna follow through with that you know like yeah do a fan service because yeah a lot of fans seem to like the idea of the genji the avatar earthbender genji and his story it was like a it received a positive uh feedback from the fans so i don't know if they'll contact the creators who made that and work with them or they just want to scratch that and completely and make their own new stuff but yeah i'm really looking forward to where this is gonna go you know where the avatar verse is headed because i feel like there's a lot of possibilities with it and uh, we'll see how it goes i wish they did the same thing with ben 10 you know where they rebooted the whole series i don't like all these new ones that have been coming out you know uh but yeah the new new ben 10 is like for kids show i, guess. I mean old ben 10 was a kids show too but it was more had a better artwork i believe you know i i really liked everything about it but new ones is just it just seems like it's for two-year-olds you know but um yeah i wish they did a reboot on ben 10 too i would i'd really watch that yeah but uh yeah um and yeah I, la I wanted to add these green lights in the background you know just to make it seem like you know how it is portrayed right after ben turns into an alien and uh let me know in the comment below how do you feel about the artwork and if there's you want me to draw more Benton characters or um, you want me to draw something else. But I'm definitely going to be drawing a character from the Avatar um, in the next one. But let me know in the comments below what I should draw, any suggestions or you know, and how you feel about the work. And here's my fin finished product the four arms and you know right after the ben hits the omnitrix switch yay but yeah i really hope you enjoyed the video guys and give me suggestions on what to improve on and what to work on and please like share subscribe and you can follow me on instagram link will be given in the description below and until next time guys i'll see you guys in the next video peace out